Oh boy. It seems here that the One Piece live action series from Netflix has apparently just gone through some test screenings and has not done very well. It says here, Netflix's One Piece live action test screening reportedly a slaughter fest of bad CGI, nonsensical story. One Piece is one of the most popular anime series that has been running for over two decades. The epic adventure of Monkey D. Luffy and the Straw Hat Pirates has captured the hearts of millions of fans around the globe. The anime series is known for its outstanding storytelling, action, humor, and emotional moments that are loved by fans of all ages. The show continues to gain millions of fans, and as a result, a live action series was announced in 2020 based on Eichiro Oda's manga series of the same name. While some fans of the series felt that it was a good idea, others called it a horrible idea due to Netflix's earlier adaptations of anime series like Death Note, Bleach, and Cowboy Bebop were all a disaster, supposedly. Recently, a trusted scoper from Hollywood tells that the series CGI in One Piece was abominable, and fans were not surprised about it. When the announcement of the live action series of Ancient Oda's One Piece was announced, it was met with a lot of criticism by anime and manga fans. Recently, Divinity Seeker gave a scoop on the test screening of the live action series by Netflix, where they stated that the show tested horribly as the CGI was horrible and the story of One Piece made no sense to the casual viewers. Hence, every episode of the Netflix adaptation are being rewritten. In a series of tweets, Divinity Seeker stated that the first episode of the series heavily deviated from the source material. The first half of the episode was full of flashbacks of a young Monkey D. Luffy and the other half of the episode quickly introduced the viewers to the first four crewmates of the Straw Hat Pirates. The scooper continued that his source stated that the tone of the show was not working for them and the looks of the cast were different from the original characters which added to the difficulty of the live action series making it inconsistent and the Barati restaurant would be featured in the third episode of the series. However, he acknowledged that he does not know anything about the original show and from what he saw from the test screening looked fine to him. But some of them had unnatural hair color. While the first screening failed to meet the expectations of the creators, they are making changes so that it can add to the popularity of the anime and manga series. But is a live action One Piece series possible that features authentic characters and a story true to the source material? So I guess this is kind of interesting because the problems that this guy had, I feel like are kind of within the source material of One Piece. Like he's saying the show jumps between being over the top goofy to being serious and it's jarring and inconsistent. But he also says that he doesn't really know the source material so I feel like maybe that could be something that the fans do like and he just doesn't like because he's not used to the source material because I mean if you read One Piece or watch it I could definitely see how the tone does switch from goofy to serious but it could also be that they executed it wrong in the live action I mean who knows but yeah I do find this article a little bit weird saying that you know oh it didn't really impress fans or whatever but at the same time the guy reporting all this has never seen the source material or isn't really a fan of of One Piece, so I'm sure they wanted to test it for fans and non-fans of the series, but it, maybe this guy was trying to gauge the reaction of some of the fans that were there and not just himself, but from what he's reporting, some of this information might just fall into the fact that he's unfamiliar with the source material. But who knows, maybe the live action is bad and you know, he's just flat out saying it and I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, what do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. That helps me out a ton and yeah i'll see y'all in the next video